Another example I give to you, my brothers. That if you are loyal to Allah and obedient to Allah, Allah will not forget you. The story of Abdullah ibn Amr ibn Haram, the father of Jabir, radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. When it was the battle of Uhud, he called his son, Abdullah ibn Amr, he called his son Jabir. And he did not allow him to fight in the battle. In the battle of Uhud, he did not allow him to fight. But he said to him, on the night before the battle, لَأَلِّي سَأَكُونَ أَوَّلُ شُهَدَاءَ الْمِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ that perhaps I will be from the first and foremost ones to be martyred in the battle tomorrow. And then he said to his son the following words. إِنِّي لَا أَتْرُكُ أَحَدًا بَعْدِ أَحَبَّ إِلَى يَمِنْكَ بَعْدَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ He said, oh my son, I do not leave behind me anyone more beloved to me after the Messenger of Allah صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ Except for you, my son. Speaking to his son. And then he said to his son, Verily, I have a dain. I have a debt that needs to be paid. So if I die, then pay my debt for me. And he had daughters. And then he said to his son, Be good to your sisters. Treat them well. And indeed, as what he thought took place, and when the battle commenced of Uhud, he was from the first and foremost ones to be martyred. And when the battle was over, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saw Jabir. Mukassiran, broken. Broken because of death of his father. And one narration it mentions he heard the wailing or the crying of his daughters. So the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then informed him. He said, Ya Jabir, Ala ukhbiruka ma qala azza wa jalli abik? Jabir, shall I not tell you what Allah azza wa jal said to your father? He said, Bala ya Rasulullah. He said, Indeed, O Messenger of Allah. He then said, Ma kalam Allah ahadin min wara il hijab. He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always spoke to individuals behind a veil but he spoke to your father kifahan meaning that there was no veil he spoke direct to his father and he said to him sil ask me of what you will and i will grant it to you and look at what he said to allah azza wa jal that everything that he wanted to request look what his request was Hey, Yihni Ya Rabb, bring me back to life. And make me go back to the dunya. Bring me back to the dunya. And I will fight again in your cause, Allah Azza wa Jal. This is what he requested. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said it's been written that anyone that leaves that dunya will not be able to return. And then he said, well, inform them. And then it mentions Ibn Kathir, he mentions that this was the suburb of Nuzul. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought down that verse. وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ قُتِلَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتًا بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ يُرْزَقُونَ That do not think that those who fought in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal are dead. Indeed, they are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala receiving provisions.